on the Please McFarland YouTube channel. All right, guys, it's a great morning here at McFarland Racing because we know we're going drag racing today. We're going to have some fun. That's right. So we are taking Leroy out, we're taking Mullet out, and we're taking Ruby out. So a couple things we're fixing on Leroy is we're finishing up mounting some things like the parachute handle. A couple simple issues that we had that we're sorting out. We have a track rental tonight, so we should have some good prep. In checking things over, we realized that the seal on our intake is blown out. So you can see the RTV that we used or the gasket is bad. We're gonna go ahead and put some fresh RTV in that, make sure that thing is sealed up. Other than that, Ty is finishing up some little fabrication projects and we should be done. Little spring, little things. Yeah, yep. just little stuff. The car did, mechanically did amazing. So we, It was pretty successful. Yeah. So we got, I've got a lot of bar angle change ideas that I'd like to try today, so. Yeah, we should get as many nice hits as we want tonight. Yeah. Because we were kind it's of a private rental. Yeah. yeah. So then over here in the mullet department, we got Sam and Zach working away. Dude, the A-N fitting yeah. went on. I know. Well, it was a breeze. That's my, that's my welds <laughs> down there, bro. They're still holding. <laughs> So we had major oil leaks on mullet, as you guys know, after FL2K, when we were running 50 pounds of boost, we were pushing some oil out of a lot of areas. We got the transmission leak figured out. We got the engine leaks figured out and mullet's going back together. We're gonna take him with us tonight and we're gonna try out this 315 tire because this is the tire we're running for World Cup. Look at that big dog. And Pete, who's helping us out with the tuning, wanted us to make some 330 hits and make sure this thing's dialed in before we hit up World Cup so we have a good starting point in case, you know, the new gear ratio and tire just throw everything off, which is very possible. And then Ruby is at the alignment shop, so hopefully she gets back before we leave. And we have to drive to Orlando today, but uh, it's worth it to get that testing in because we leave for World Cup tomorrow. So it's gonna be a busy day, let's get to it. Whoa, the O-ring is completely flattened. I wonder if the methanol like liquefied it. Like, look, it's like liquid. The hell's going on here? Definitely has turned into goo. Whatever O-ring material that was. Another alignment from our boys at Superior Auto Repair in Bradenton. Gonna get Ruby loaded up for Orlando tonight. Putting a drag wheel on my girl Ruby. Yeah, you said that old. Old trusty dude. Old we had trusty some bent stuff on that. Ain't doing it no Look more. how bent the old button holders are on that. Yeah, thing. every time we put Nate in the car, he just goes and fans of freaking brand. Yeah. So we got a brand new Cletus wheel. If you guys didn't know, these are also on CletusPerform.com, little American flag MPI wheels. Are we ready to fire this thing up or what? We got a nicely sealed intake now. We should be good. Oh, we got to put transmission fluid in it. Yeah, we got to put transmission fluid. Oh, which is sitting right there. Uh. guy dude i was running for my life he's a little crooked but he's on there that's all that matters dude are you fired up right now am i fired this up? this is dude. insane i feel really good about tonight like we made some necessary changes and i uh, feel really freaking good about this evening I like the sound of that Hey James, I need you to drive real safe. Yeah. This is a this is a load right here, brother. Yeah, we got everything on here. Ruby, Leroy, and the El Camino. Woo! All right, Leroy, you're going 480s tonight, brother. Just accept it now. And Mullet, you only get to go to the 330. Sorry, bud. Leroy is in Orlando. Oh, it looks so cool from up here. <laughs> Even Roubaix is out tonight, looking pad to the bone. 
Old three feet. We worked on down there, bud. Getting the old clutch stop adjusted. We got a long one. This one, not long enough. Oof. Listen, here's a theory that I was taught today by the owner of the clutch company. He said, if your pedal has a bunch of travel, but it only grabs down here, you need to reduce your pedal travel to right where the clutch grabs. Because if you think about it, think about it like a door. Uh huh. You're trying to slam the door and you open it a little bit, you can't oh. slam it very hard. But if you open it all the way, you can slam it really oh. hard. So he's saying, don't let the door slam so hard on your clutch. You gotta set it right, brother. That's the deal. So, oh, wow. We're gonna adjust that. We had to change some stuff uh, with the two step. So we're gonna change that and then we're gonna test it out. All right, see how that works. sensor because we were maxing it out at 42 pounds of boost before so now it should go to like 60 something but it's, we didn't scale it right. two times so in a row the two-step test paid off yeah i mean you always got to do a two-step check always Good job, buddy. Thanks, pal. That was, that was, that was so soft, that was dude. Terrible. You backed out. I was, I was fully committed. That was eight pounds. Eight? Or, yeah. All right, let's roll. I think that was like 118. 119. Six. Damn! Oh my gosh. Light dude. is the way Brother. to go. Holy Toledo. That's so much easier. That's a low boost. Dude. We just got to face wait. that two I step in the burnout, dude. I think it, he was so oh close. Oh my Lanta, dude. Face. Five he's more today. He's gonna be oh super yeah, he's going to be fired up. Yes! <laughs> he already knows. Yeah, you glad we didn't put the weights on the rear now? It must have gone quick. <laughs> we're just happy it like went straight. No, it went uh, we're happy it 60, went. 60, 29. 
119. Uh, wait, 119? Oh. What? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hey, let me see. Where do you think it went? Uh, 515. Probably. 511. What the Solid. <laughs> Solid. Right, let's get some power what in the thing. What's going on right now, you guys? <laughs> That's a race. Breaking in. It's one of the fastest passes Leroy's ever had. I mean, when he first went a 782, he went a 510 in the eighth. We went a 511 on the first full eight mile. <laughs> you should see that behind the car. Way like less boost. Yeah, right way, way less boost. Less boost. All right, guys, made 20 pounds of boost in third gear. Shoo. First gear is making 11 pounds. Second gear got up to 18. Third gear, 21-ish, 20.9. Called the clutch guy. He said, 300 more RPM on the leave. Spicy, okay. Go from 24 grams, which is what we have on the clutch now, to 30 grams of weight. 110.60. And okay. throw as much boost at it as we feel necessary. I'm like, golly. I like where this He's like, 119 is pretty slow, so I do this. I'm like, well, this is our first slow. Run. I know. <laughs> so, time to throw some weights on this thing. Let's do it. It's working good. I've got seven pounds of boost. Man, if this is a lot of stuff we changed. If it works, it's gonna be rowdy. Leroy the Savage, baby, in Orlando. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, look at them Corvette tail lights. Got the underglows on. Golly. Come on, Leroy. to the 60, 5.02. <laughs> okay, okay. There with all them lights on, dude. Where's my time slip? Come on. <laughs> I know, Where's dude. Where's the gas? Where's the my time slip? 502. <laughs> <laughs> Driving it, too. Bro, we are now three hundredths away from our fastest eighth mile we've ever been in the car in three years on the second pass. Yes, we sir. We went 144, 145. 114, 60 foot. Yes, yeah. 114. Buddy. That's powerful. Welcome to the straight axle it did, life, It didn't buddy. even look right. One, it looked 14. unreal. Yeah. What? Fine. <laughs> we gotta rev it Let's out. Let's get dude. that one. Rev it out. Let's turn up the power. Are you shifting it or are you hitting the rev limiter and shifting it? I'm letting it run in the rev limiter. You want to tighten it up? Dude, it's bouncing in second. We gotta solve that issue. That's, That's just awesome. Yeah. We also had like to do it a little bit quicker this way and it drove you. Okay. Yeah, I gotta pull some out of the road. So I just got power Whoa, in it. We got boys. Right, 1, so. 14, so, 16. Yeah, she's gonna put some steer in it. Put more power, a little bit more power in it. And we'll tighten up the shift just a little bit. See if we can get that bounce out of it to get it to be back in power quicker. Golly. <laughs> Golly. What guys, in the great world? Great job, guys. Great job, guys. <laughs> get that slip. 1, 14, 60 foot. 5, 0 oh, in the 8th. We just need a little bit of power now. A little bit of horse torque. Just so we're clear, we're deep 7 second territory. We're 770s oh, yeah. so right now. think about it. Ruby. With that 8th. Ruby goes with a 114.60 foot going five O's has been a 7.60, Seven. 7.70. Yeah. That was the same boost. Same boost. Same boost. The boost controller didn't do anything. Ho, 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 ho. 
picked up a tent just off of clutch weights. So nice. Woo! Finding power and finding power. Yeah. I've been looking up here, Jack's tent. Oh, boy. What? Oh, loose mid plate bolt? Yeah. That's not Ty, dude. That's Ty true. definitely yeah. installed yeah, that. that. You're yeah. out of here, bud. All right, so Zach's putting some counterweight on Leroy. So we're just gonna make a 330 hit mullet. That's all we need for data. Literally barely going down track in this thing just to make sure it's good on this tire. You know, 315 tire, new gear ratio. You guys know how tough that stuff's gonna be. One twenty two flight of the sixteen three oh two to the three thirty. Three oh two. I'd say put it put it back on the on the ramp. Yeah, we're done with that it. one. Because <laughs> you know how them big bugs go. Save that one. Yep. Yeah, it's good. It's exactly what it needed to do. Yeah, we need to uh fix it. Yeah, one twenty two flat, so it's not far off from where it was no. on the small tire with a different rear gear at uh FL two K. Three oh two to the three thirty shows it's taking the power down through the middle, so and I think I put we it in the box. To load it up. The oil leaks on it. It's more fast, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a big block. They're kind of. She's good, dude. That's all good. She's That's good. It's solid. Uh, well, we'll send it to Pete and see what he thinks. If he wants to go again, I mean. If you turn it down and it went back where? Imagine what happens if you turn it back up. Hey, we're here. I mean, 330 ain't gonna put any wear and tear on this bad unit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we need to do a two-step check. So guys, we turned up uh, Leroy's launch RPM and then the boost controller did not work on that last run. So it's got a lot more uh, boost controller in it now. So hopefully that'll press on with the boost. Let's do a quick two-step check. Oh my Lanta! Oh my Lanta! Leroy the Savage, baby! Six, seven seventy eight at one seventy three. the boost really hit like it was supposed to but yeah it felt good it was still fast i don't think the boost was hitting like it was we were planning on but i just you know i was just fired up 
Honestly, I blacked out from all the freedom. Can you guys blame me? Really? Don't give me that look. Dude, well, 496 PB all the way down the slip. Black I can tell you couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. What did it go? It went faster. 496! Look at the 60. Foot. Best eighth mile ever. 113.60 foot. Oh, what a 778! <laughs> yeah. At 173. Yeah. She was boogieing. Bro, it's making like no boost. Yeah, that's it's what just, I was saying. I'm just sitting in here like, come on, give me some boost. Oh my gosh, 113.60 <laughs> foot. 496, our best eighth mile ever, third pass. Hit big grand if it feels slow yeah, next hit, time. Hit that one right oh, there. Oh, yeah, I got a scramble button going. Now it's turned off. Let's figure out what we got going on with this freaking boost <laughs> controller. There's no way. The Same up. exact boost? Same exact boost. 20.5. How is that possible to go 496 put, on the same boost? We had 20 on the dome. We put 40 on the dome and picked up nothing. So we got something. Going. Yeah. What the hell, dude? Hey, I mean, that's awesome. Because we're good. figuring out yeah. the car without power. Yeah. Hey, made no more boost. 20 pounds of boost still. 20 pounds? Still didn't make a single pound more. So I wonder if our uh, dome pressure is not what it should be. Our dome pressure is actually... Yeah, it's lagging behind, but we're gonna figure it out. All right, we got a new tune from Pete. It's probably the last hit for Mola tonight if it goes well, which I, uh, I'm hoping it does. Thing was scooting. Look good. Not too shabby. Seven she... seventeen lifting. Good night. It was uh, one nineteen three two nine nine three thirty four forty three at one seventy. It's flat. so smooth it does not. Two ninety nine. Like... It don't even look like it's going that fast. I know, it's dude. Just so smooth. Just smooth. Oh, big old Sunday bird. drive. She riding on rails, baby. The forty seven hundred pound car. Forty seven. <laughs> two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. He's gonna be fired up. One nineteen. 299 443 wow Yeah. <laughs> it's hot as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was definitely colder in here, so. But I mean, did we do that? 119, 299. Put it away. Put She's it away. ready for World Cup. And the on the ramp. Bullets going to World Cup, baby. <laughs> I was hoping we weren't going to destroy it today, so that's good. It's good. <laughs> did its job. I must be made a new guy. We got Dr. Tunamal about to make a hit in Ruby ever since she had her uh, double leg transplant. I didn't get to see. Uh, it was supposed to be a partial pull, so I was just gonna take it to the gear change and then clip it off, but it did something before that. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man, if it lost ignition, for sale. eBay. Huh. Uh, is it the freaking RPM thing? No? 
What? Oh, whoa! Ran way out of fuel. 18 pounds of boost and it's out of fuel pressure. Well, it's out of fuel system. Wow. Damn, methanol not the move for Ruby. No, no. I'm honestly surprised. Yeah, I am too. Would be enough. Well, looks like we gotta play Ignite in it. Yep. Put, put it back on ethanol and go to World Cup. Yeah. Damn, that would have been cool. Yeah, next time. Dude, great pass tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I have successfully not made a four. Woo! <laughs> what a rip. I made three 120, 60 foot sets. All right, Ruby, sorry about uh, your luck. Wait, can we put those uh, freaking precision injectors in? The big, uh, the big boys you got? Uh, we yeah. can. I yeah, mean, yeah. We don't have a lot of. Well, let me look at this injector yeah. for This is a Texas speed deal. Uh, they fit for sure. Uh, it's got blows in it now. It's full time. Yeah. yeah. We could just extend the stanchions for the fuel rail. Yeah. Well, think about it. Think but about we it. know the Ignite works, but boy, I love to run methanol. All right, another call to Rob at Advanced Clutches, and he is telling us to go spicy. He's telling us to put weight on the clutch. He's telling us to launch 300 RPM higher. We're now up to 5,000 RPM 5, launch. RPM, and I'm going to bring all the boost in by one second. And we're putting the boost to it. Yeah. So it should make about 26, 27 pounds boost, I would guess, on this setup. And if it does launch like we're hoping, it's going to be intense. You like these big changes this guy makes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my kind of guy <laughs> all right 300 rpm additional launch uh more boost down track and the clutch guy specifically asked me to run it out in fourth gear because he said it's highest load i gotta see what the clutch is doing so uh we're gonna ramp it down through there see what it'll do i'm excited hope it goes down if it takes this it's going a 1.060 foot i think it's yeah it's i sure. think you're gonna see a 160 foot for sure if it takes it yeah it's getting pretty wet out and dewy yeah, well, a lot of water in the air, but uh, I'm gonna give it another crack. The time slips flying out of Leroy, man. It's just like the old <laughs> days. I'm like, I'm flying around there. I got my safety squints going. I'm like, golly. <laughs> I'm so conditioned to this thing spinning the tires that I'm almost astonished when it launches. And it's so freaking fast. I mean, it launches harder than any car in the fleet by a long shot. So it's just like. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to spin and it's just like, oh my goodness. Let me make sure my doors are shut. That's yes, good. <laughs> doors are shut. All right, cool. did pick up i don't know if it's spun or top the shock out and first gear but it went 111.7 slower to the 330 because of that pedal but 504 140 and then rolled out the back at 787 173. you can see it though it's still trying when, when, yeah. every time we add more power it starts to hunt to the left real good oh sorry so some of that might be the one hand I, yeah that's what i'm saying that's what I'm, yeah. i was telling ty earlier i can't wait to see the in car to see if it's the way he's holding his hand or if it's a suspension change and got a chain so sketch all right so it did spin the tires a little bit and i stayed in it i shouldn't have stayed in it i just was feeling crazy 
don't know why I did that. I think that's what it is. It's one of the tires. What the hell is going on? Holy Toledo. What's going on, parachute? I didn't have the CO2 launcher on for the parachute. Idiot, dude. Don't do me. I know it's fun, but then it's been before or after the 60. After the 60. The rear tires were at the 60 foot cone when the top of the shot. 111. Yeah. 787 still. <laughs> but that that wasn't power spin, that was the top of the shot out. And pulled it all. So tighten the rebound up, it would have been fine. Yeah. Well at least we ran out the back too so we can see what the boost numbers are like. Alright guys, well we're still battling a boost issue. The car only wants to make 21 pounds of boost. It's really annoying because we want to make like 30 something. So 22 pounds right there. This line here is our shock travel in the rear. So you can see it went immediately up and topped that thing the heck out by 0.8 seconds into the run. And it literally bunny hopped to the back of the car <laughs> off the ground. It was aggressive. So what do we do? Just tighten the rebound tighten up? Tighten the rebound up. Um, a lot. Which I've been kind of wanting to do that for the last like two passes. Because yeah. as you add power, you have to tighten it up or else the added power is going to make it separate faster and harder. Yeah. So, so what do we do? It. Go Just aggressive. How many clicks we thinking, boys? We put four in it. Yeah. Four? We threw four more in it. See what it does. It's going to slow it down, but we can keep clicking at it to okay. get the curve that we want on the shock. Sounds good. Okay, guys, last run of the night. Slowed down the rebound in the rear end. Fixed up some of the boost control settings. So hopefully we get a little bit of a difference in boost. See what old Leroy's made of here. Let's go! Yeah, what so we got? the clutch base and the it's suspension not, change not, made it go 111 four to the 60 foot 311 to the 330 491 at 140 774 at 172 so we got no boost controller we can't add yeah. any more boost than it's making it's making what 21 pounds 22 yeah, pounds 21, 22 and that was it. 60 on the dome which it's yeah <laughs> not doing definitely anything. At least yeah. Yeah, you put pounds. 60 on the dome it should make 60 pounds it should it bring you home Like it made that much boost. What the heck is up with this boost controller, man? Ah, oh, whatever, dude. That was an epic pass. Whatever. Dang it, they had the boards off again, so I couldn't see my eighth mile, but it felt strong. Man, it just isn't making the boost up top. Like, I don't know if we have a boost leak, but I glanced at the screen and saw 21 psi. I'm like, why, Leroy? You should be making 30 pounds of boost. It's like 500 plus horsepower probably leaving on the table. Well, we're smiling because you're smiling. It was good, but. We're smiling because you coasted on the trailer, but. Oh, not damn. quite there. Damn it. You still ain't got no boost controller, but look at that 60 foot. Bro, 172. Why is there no boost? Look What's at that. What's the 60 foot? 111 again. 318 491 Leroy, what are you doing brother so that i mean that goes to show though in clutch and suspension we can go faster yeah you know i mean honestly guys you guys gotta all be ecstatic about how tonight that's gone Speechless. this is oh insane we know that we have the important numbers oh yeah we have the important numbers and that's an insane 60 foot 
a good 330 and a transmission that's shifting, a rear end that's working. Yep. I mean, we got what we need. We just got to get the boost controller figured out and we will be dialed. Looks like all the cars are making it to World Cup. Ruby, you know, she's going to be on ethanol, which is no big deal. Just not on the methanol. Leroy performed outstanding. Mullet is a ripper. I can't believe it. We're going with three cars that seem to be Hall. fairly worked out. So <laughs> it's, it's almost unbelievable. And uh, thank you guys all for so much support on the Leroy 2.0 build. Our boy going consistent 111 60 foots. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for buying the t-shirts and uh, just supporting us. I mean, obviously you guys remember when I bought Leroy. Look how far he's come. Look how far we've all come. This is just a freaking exciting day and can't wait to go out to World Cup and hopefully let him loose. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Hey guys, we've been working like mad men and I forgot to film the Bolts and Nuts giveaway winners. So I'm at home and from the 31st, we have Seth S from Yuli, Florida. And from yesterday, we have Bryce H from San Jose, California. They were chosen at random for an 1100 piece Bolts and Nuts set. And you could be too if you head to cleavesmanforallin.com, buy anything. We're choosing one random winner a day and throwing in one of those sets. And check out those Leroy 2.0 shirts. Y'all know the deal.